Hi everybody, Sherman here. And I'm going to do a quick video here for the customers that want to see a quick demonstration of WP Fantastic in action on the individual page or post. With WP Fantastic, you can customize your individual pages and posts on the fly really, really simply and really easily. Okay, once you get done installing your WP Fantastic plugin, You'll see it on the side here, and you can do your settings there, but this video is about doing it within an individual post or page. So if you notice up here, you got three brand new icons that have been placed here by WP Fantastic. First of all, we got the highlighter short code. This is basically for being allowing you to be able to add a whole variety of different background colors and you simply click, select the color, click insert, and you add your text in here. If you notice, there's two brackets that come with the short code. You simply put any text you want in between these two bracketed short codes, and it will come up just the way you want it. You push update, and you view your page. And you got a blue background. Now remember, this is default text. Now, if you want to go in and you want to use your divider short codes, it's also very easy. You can choose the width, you can choose the type, you can choose the alignment. Okay, and you simply click insert, and you will have the divider code in there. Next, and most importantly, we're going to go over real quickly placing text with your actual WP Fantastic page editor. If you come in here, we, we basically put the whole situation right up here so it's easy to use within each one. You custom define it. So first of all, you're going to choose your font type. We'll go with a Google web font on this example and we'll choose how about luckiest guy and then we'll go with how about a 45 pixel text and we'll go a line height of oh I don't know let's go 10 pixels okay this is the actual text color that will show up let's go ahead and choose uh, how about a blue this is a background color for your uh, individually background the text you entered. We'll leave it clear since I've already shown you an example of background, although you can do all different colors. Here we can set the text shadow. So we can go off the X axis. Um, let's go four pixels. Off the Y axis, we will go five pixels. And for the radius, let's go ahead and do four pixels. Now you also can choose your color for your shadow. Shadows are usually darker, but it really doesn't matter. You can get creative and do it any way you want on WP Fantastic. And you can also do changes very easily too. Once you get all your choices made that you want to go with, you simply click insert. And WP Fantastic will insert a short, easy short code. Okay? Now, like I said before, you simply enter your text in between the two brackets. You push update. And the page was just published. You simply click view the page. And as you can see, this is where you will enter your text. It's a nice blue with a darker blue shadow. It's 45 pixels. And it's just that easy, guys. You can easily customize it. You can go higher line height. You can go bigger fonts. You can go different fonts. You can do different shadows. The, really, the situations are endless. It's very simple through your little quick editor short code right inside of your WordPress dashboard. It's quite simple to use. We'll go one more quick example here. You simply click on your icon. You choose your font. 
you choose your font name you choose a font size a line height we'll go ahead and just do a five pixel line height text color let's do a nice bright red this time once again well let's go ahead and add in a background color of yellow we'll do a little bit of a shadow again we'll do the shadow a darker red how does that sound and we'll click insert we've got our code set we simply go between the two brackets and this is where you place your text and you can edit it through here too I want you to take notice any one of these can be edited at any time you simply can go in and you can change your font name your font type your pixels as far as size of the font your line height as far as how many pixels you can set your color right here your background color or even take it away and you can set your shadow points I mean you can do it all from right in here once it's set if you desire you simply click update and as you can see this is our brand new one we just made this is our other one we made earlier and that is fantastic you guys i hope you have fun just get get creative